That's one mighty fine snickerdoodle. Okay, so welcome back to Robertson's Valley Acres. Today we're having a special guest. Uh, our niece Carmen is going to show you how to properly ball uh, snickerdoodle dough and how to make them. Here she is. I'm just getting full disclosure. We don't have to talk about it. you got to speak loud. Okay. Uh, just getting some of this cookie dough here. And I form it with this little scoop. Get it like that. Kind of crumble it in my hand. And uh, roll it around. Make it a little ball. Because these are snicker doodles. You got to take it in this little concoction of cinnamon and sugar and then it's ready to put on your cookie sheets you want it at 350 for 10 to 14 minutes I'm making these for the guys at work I work at Norris Sucker Rod it's a production company and we make oil field parts, certain rods obviously, couplings, pony rods, things like that. All this is oil field products that uh, we need. So uh, I work for a production company and we're having a little potluck tomorrow. So that's why I'm making this. Okay, so I am sharing my kitchen with Carmen and my eyes are fixing to start watering because I like chopped up onion. But anyway, um, so I'm going to kind of interview Carmen just a little bit. So Carmen, what is your position at work? What are you doing uh, at Norris? Well, um, right now I'm kind of filling in for a guy that lost his job because he showed up late at my job. They are very, very strict about time, showing up on time, being at work on time, going back to breaks on time. And uh, so he lost his job. He's what we call a yellow hat because he wears a yellow hard hat, which meant he's on probation. He broke the rules of probation, so he's no longer with the company. Um, and so I'm filling in for him. I'm working at the dip tanks, uh, which is uh, pretty much cleaning the couplings and coating them, burning them more or less with chemical. Um, and and what are you burning? The couplings. Okay, so what exactly are couplings? What are you burning? Don't couplings, be burning my cookie. Because I don't, I don't know anything about. I'm not like Rusty. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> green on the whole thing. What are you burning? Uh, couplings are what you connect the rods to whenever they go down in the well. If you need an extension or something, you can use them to connect. Uh, either pony rods, which are a miniature version of the sucker rods. Sucker rods are 25 to 30 feet long. Um, and uh, pony rods are anywhere from five foot to Run ten rogers. foot. Uh, the couplings you use, you, they screw on the end of them, on, on the end of the sucker rods, and uh, they give you an extension so that we can go deeper inside the well. Okay. So it's kind of like uh, plumbing almost. Yeah. Like it's like uh, like if you're plumbing and you have to. That's <laughs> okay. Go check it. Oh, you're good. You're golden. <laughs> Timers are a necessity when baking. When yeah. baking cookies, because cookies can go from beautiful to bad really, really fast. But she's got this. Um, so it's basically like plumbing. You know, if you have to add extra uh, PVC pipe or something like that, yes. you have the little connectors. So that's... Yes. Okay, so you're dipping them in a tank full of... Well, the first two tanks, it's a six-step process you need to get closer through on. the tanks. And uh, the first two tanks are what we call Presto Clean, which is a very super concentrated um, chlorine. Okay. And this chlorine is super, super concentrated, so it can burn you. That's why you wear protective wear at work. Um, it rinses off in the third tank, and then the fourth tank is where it actually burns the chemical... Presto Black actually burns the coupling and gives it a coating so that way it's less resistant to things that might be exposed in the well. Um, then it 
the tanks go to tank five and it rinses it off, rinses off the rest of the presto that might be left inside the threads of the coupling or on the outside it rinses it off and then it goes to an oil and the oil is to protect the coupling from rusting and causing problems busting in the well because that can happen if it's not dipped in the oil and everything and then it goes down a conveyor and then I box it. Okay. So that's what you're stepping in for. What's your permanent um, position? My current position is um, I'm called a peener or a blaster operator and uh, I pretty much sandblast the um, sucker rods, but I do it with nickel. Oh. So it gives them uh, almost almost like a diamond coating, I guess would be the way to put it. Uh, but it goes through my machine, it comes right off the furnaces. We have two furnaces, it, it goes through heat treat on both sides. So it can be anywhere, the furnaces are anywhere from, I want to say like, 2200 degrees on the inside to the second furnace that's probably going to be around 1500 degrees and it, it heat treats them so that way it makes the steel harder and then from the furnaces it goes across to my machine and I pretty much sandblast it and uh, then it's ready to be CNC'd which I'm not sure how to I don't know how to explain that. It's machined. Okay, so that way it can be machined. And then um, from there it goes to the paint vat. The paint vat, it goes off to shipping. And then it goes out to the well side. So, so I sandblast it pretty much with nickel. So all this and she can cook too. OMG! Because I'm completely lost. But hopefully y'all got something out of that. <laughs> um, we really like to share our kitchen here at Robertson Valley Acres. Um, it's awesome to have extra people in the house, uh, family, and and spending some time and checking to see what I'm doing. Yeah, what are you making? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about what I'm doing here. Uh, I uh, we talked about it uh, earlier in the channel, and I'll put a link uh, right here talking about uh, the shows you guys about our health watch and how we've changed, how we're trying to change things so that we can be healthier. Um, so cooking supper, we just got home from work, so that's why we're just trashed, but you know, it's like, uh, we just got to roll with it, but I am making a keto uh, friendly supper. So I have these, um, they, they're cute steaks, but they're pork. So I, my plan is I'm going to fry up some of these. I've got some onion and green peppers. I've got some different si uh, seasonings. My mom found this seasoning. It's carne guisada. And she was looking for it here and couldn't find it. So when she went down to Corpus Christi to visit my sister, she found some and brought some back. And oh my God, you guys, game changer. It is so good. So it says for meat tacos, but we kind of use it in everything. I did score today because at our Walmart here in Sand Springs, Oklahoma, I did find some. So I'm really excited about that because then I can replace all the stuff that I've been using from my mom's stash. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to do this. We're going to put a little bit of lemon and fry this up, uh, saute it all together. Um, we're not going to have the... Uh, yeah. I'm also going. I'm also going to throw a serrano in there just to make it really good and spicy. But um, I'm kind of glad that I don't have contacts right now because no, this can get dangerous. No way. Um, anyway, uh, hold on. Ooh, um, and then I have some shrimp that's uh, thawing out right now that I'm going to kind of throw in as well. And I bought some uh, chopped up. Uh, granulated, I don't know, um, uh, cauliflower, and we'll make some cauliflower rice to kind of go along with, so, uh, it's, yes, I think, I think they're probably done, <laughs> mm. <laughs> raise your hand. ooh, you guys, her cookies are fixing to come out of the oven, 
Oh, look at those. Those are perfect. Look at, see the little... Little yeah. cracks I mean, in them. That's, that's perfect. That's just perfect. That's a perfect snickerdoodle. Oh, and this is my first time making snickerdoodles. She's rocking it, you guys. This is awesome. I'm going to do this one. Pan yes. number two. That is beautiful. I think I'm going to go to work with Carmen tomorrow. Do it. And you know what's crummy? I can't have any of the snickerdoodles. But it's okay because it's all worth it in the end. Uh, can I just dose them? Yep. I prefer that you slide it in. Well, I'm just gonna throw it. So we're gonna go ahead and set that for twelve, right? Is that what we did in the middle? Mm-hmm. Grab the little. Okay, so in here in a second we'll start cooking this, and I am cooking everything in butter because I do have to get my fats today. Um, but anyway, it, it seems if you say diet, it seems like it's a big. Um, it's a big uh, sacrifice, but really. On this system that I'm doing, it is not a sacrifice. I mean, I don't even think Rusty feels like it's a sacrifice. I'm going to be honest. I have tried to do this system without the extra supplements that I get. Um, uh, uh, let me think about this. My sister-in-law is my coach, and she's my um, she's the person that I uh, uh, get my supplements and stuff from. I can't do this without the supplements. I have tried. But uh, health watch so far down 10 pounds. I've got 10 more to go before the end of the year to hit my year go goal or my this month goal. So um, here's hoping, guys. Okay, she's going to be taking these off. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to sit here and do this. I'm not gonna drool all out. I'm just smell, gonna smell and get full. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 almost bad. So there's this new supplement that I just ordered, and it is little. Um, they're kind of like Starburst almost, mm. but they're called Resist, and you eat one, and it makes you not want to. You don't crave this kind of stuff. Mm. So I'm really excited. It should be coming in the mail soon. Um, I am going to put a link in the description uh, to my sister-in-law's uh, page, so that way you can kind of go there and, and talk to her a little bit, because I'm telling you, the system is amazing. Okay, so as we've seen and shown you, Carmen's done with these cookies. Uh, here we go to see if they're really any good. That's one mighty fine snickerdoodle. Here's the snickerdoodles. Awesome job, kid. Thanks. Mmm. Mmm. What do you got going on over here? Okay, so we have the um, onions and bell peppers and serrano peppers cooking in the butter. And they have lemon in them and spices. And it smells really good. And I cannot wait. Okay, guys. So we've got the... We've got everything sautéing together. I just chopped up those um, pork steaks really good. And I've got the shrimp in there. Everything's cooking together. And I also have... Oh, yes. Here's my cauliflower with some butter and lemon pepper and water and... I bet that's just the perfect consistency. We're going to let this probably put it in just for a little bit lo longer. Um, it's just, it's very, I think I could put too much water in or too much liquid, but it's still pretty um, al dente. So we're going to go ahead and try that again. Okay, so I've served up the ca cauliflower rice with lemon pepper and butter. Now I'm just going to add, I can't, it's hard to do this with the left hand, hold on. Now I'm just going to add the pork and shrimp and peppers and onions to the top of that. And that is just absolutely beautiful and I'm handing it off to Rusty. Okay guys, um, I hope you really liked the video. Uh, full disclosure, please excuse my kitchen today. Um, things have been a little crazy here on Robertson's Belly Acres. 
uh, we have, my parents live with us and they just got home. Uh, they travel to work, but they live with us. And, uh, my, our oldest daughter and her boyfriend just moved in and uh, back, she came back home. And so anyway, there's what, three families living here. I mean, technically anyway, to me, a dirty kitchen is a, is a, I don't know, sign of love that we're all together and we all utilize the kitchen. Um, I know you could hear a lot in the background. That's because we all hang out in the kitchen all the time. Even when we have company, I'm telling you, it is nothing for company to show up, sit down at that kitchen table and not move until the weekend's over. Cause we just, that's, that's the heart of our family. So, um, honestly, our kitchen isn't always that trashed. It was just trash today. Anyway, um, if you liked the video, please like, like, like it <laughs> and hit the bell and subscribe. Well, I guess you have to subscribe first and then hit the bell. So then that way, you know, when we're on, um, we do have, we ha are growing in subscribers. Um, it's a kind of a trickle, but if you're watching our videos, So sorry about that. Our phones just went nuts with um, an Amber Alert. So please, um, if you are the praying uh, type of people, please just stop for two seconds and say a prayer for whomever is involved in that in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, anyway, uh, back to if you like the videos, please like them, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends. Um, there's always crazy stuff going on here on the farm. So thanks you guys for watching and thanks for understanding.